Now on Coast TV News. Summer officially arrives later today with very warm conditions. It turns hot Friday and especially into the weekend with excessive heat expected. I'll track the heat on Futurecast coming up next. Rocket launch from Wallops Island just like this one from about a year ago. How the University of Delaware is involved for what is expected in this mission. Court decision in the Mayu case. We're looking back at the legal back and forth that happened two years after a tragic Ocean Pines hit and run. New signs, same issues. That's what we're seeing in Milton as some drivers ignore a new four way stop at a dangerous intersection. This is Coast TV News Today. Welcome to our six o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. It is Thursday, June 20th, 2024. Yeah, we're tracking a hot day today, yes. Paige. Yes, and it makes sense because later on it will be technically the first day of summer. I guess you could say the first few hours of summer. First few hours. It's later this afternoon. Yep. So technically we're still in spring. We are. But we are going to have that summer-like feel later today. Yeah, when we see you tomorrow, it'll be summertime. So we'll bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trihe. Now, Bob, and then tomorrow the first full day of summer even hotter. That's right. First full day of summer and the heat really kicks in. That will be the case into the weekend. Temperatures now not bad. 70 Indian River Inlet, 69 in Ocean City. A little cooler inland Salisbury and Del Mar in the low 60s right now. But the winds are largely calm. A little bit of a breeze out of the south. And it looks like we have some fog developing around Ocean City. About a quarter mile visibility there. So watch out for some of that dense fog. Even though it says 10 miles in Salisbury and Georgetown, we're still seeing areas of that fog. Otherwise, some high clouds out there too, but good travel weather across Del Marva right now. Some high clouds back to the west and warm high pressure building in for today. Quickly warms us from the 60s into the upper 70s, mid 80s at noon, and then by the afternoon, mid to upper 80s inland areas, 70s at the coast as summer officially arrives. UV index today, sponsored by Ocean City. It's a nine, very high. Burn time is 10 minutes, and we're in that very high range the next several days. So make sure you have the higher SPF, at least 30 plus. Also, midday shade, limit time outdoors, and try to avoid the sun from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Thank you, Bob. Here it is. This was about a half hour ago at the NASA facility on Wobbs Island. Page, it happened so quick. Yeah. We were tracking it. I was looking at my laptop here. The launch window is at 5.30. Normally, you're expecting some holds of the countdown, yeah. things like that. Not the case. You saw it. That thing, whoo, it was like a rocket. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> right on time. Now, what we saw was the Terrier-improved Orion sounding rocket. And what makes this launch very interesting, get this, the program was designed by students. Experiments aboard the rocker, rocket, they're going to be in a canister about 10 inches in diameter, 10 inches tall. University of Delaware students actually have one of these experiments. And that's very impressive. Now, again, this is the improved Terrier Orion sounding rocket launch. This was at Wallops Island. We're going to move on now. This week, we did learn of a new development from the Maryland Supreme Court in the case of Tyler Mayu, that's the man involved in the deadly Ocean Pines hit and run that killed 14-year-old Gavin Canup two years ago. The Maryland Supreme Court has rejected a petition by Mayu. And what this means is this. It upholds the appellate court's order of returning the trial to Worcester County Circuit Court. That's the key there. This case was originally dismissed in that court. It's when the judge stated it should have been filed in district court. New legislation would permanently abolish the death penalty in Delaware. House Bill 70 now moves to the Senate for consideration. House Bill 70 would instruct that any adult convicted of first-degree murder to instead be sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, probation, or any other sentence reduction. Advocates say since 1973, at least 197 people were wrongfully convicted and sentenced to death in the U.S. and have since been exonerated. Marijuana and a pallet village, what's up for discussion Monday at a Georgetown Council meeting, is expected to have the first updated reading of an ordinance that outlines regulations for recreational marijuana businesses. This comes after the town debated it. They made some changes when they initially tried to have a reading on it. Council will also review the progress on the Springboard Collaborative Georgetown Pallet Village. This meeting is scheduled for June 24th at 6.30 p.m. Happening today, Fenwick Island will be reviewing the town budget. Two of the key budget items up for review are rentals and dredging. The town's budget and finance committee is working on an updated draft of the fiscal year 2025 budget, specifically looking to see how dredging could impact the budget as well as rental tax rates. 
The committee will also be considering a fee schedule recommendation to town council. Now, what isn't in the budget is moving a crosswalk from a dangerous intersection. It was back in April that we reported on the town standstill with Del Dot to improve pedestrian safety. The town wants to move a crosswalk away from an intersection where many cars make illegal U-turns. According to the town, these U-turns are making walking dangerous for people. The dispute with Del Dot is over who's going to pay for this change. Both parties say the other one should cost to move the crosswalk over $70,000. For a full week now, a new four-way stop has been in effect at the Harbison Road, Shingle Point Road, and Chestnut Street area in Milton. In order to increase safety and visibility, Del Dot says the change was needed because depending which way you're driving, certain turns have blind spots. I can agree with that one. It's a tough intersection. But one problem locals are seeing are some drivers are continuing to go right through the intersection without stopping. Uh, a lot of out-of-towners that come in they don't realize that the speed limit is 35 or 25 and they're constantly doing 40, 50 miles an hour, which is really crazy. Got a lot of bikers, a lot of pedestrian walkers, so it's, it's good to slow them down. Del Dot says that since 2020, there have actually been nine accidents at the intersection. The project is just a temporary solution to see what would work best to keep everyone safe. This does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We are asking, are four-way stops effective for traffic safety. I think what went up in the last hour was at 80% there. I believe that was in the 70s before. 80% of you say, yeah, they're effective. 20% of you say, nah, you have other ideas for what's effective for traffic safety. Whatever you're thinking, vote on coasttv.com slash vote or on the app. Developing news out of Bethany Beach. That's where the speed limit on State Route 26 has been officially reduced. This change follows an assessment by the traffic group National Traffic Engineering, which recommended lowering the speed limit to, from 35 miles per hour to 30 within the town. Del Dot officials hope that this adjustment will make it safer for pedestrians, especially during the busy summer season. Now, we went to Bethany Beach to better understand how people living there feel about the change, and here is what one woman told us. We're a young family, and we've been riding our bikes around a little bit more, and so something like that would make me feel more comfortable, maybe more awareness for people that are out of town, not comfortable driving these, we're not familiar with these roads. And the speed limit change to Route 26 is effective immediately. Local firefighters have some more help to keep us safe. It's in the form of grants. Delaware lawmakers celebrated the passage of the Fire Grants and Safety Act. Lawmakers say this will help local fire departments get money for training, personnel, and equipment. And across the nation, many local fire departments are struggling to address staffing needs. The Fire Grants and Safety Act would reauthorize three essential grants that provide hundreds of millions of dollars to assistance to rural fire companies across the country annually. All right, check this out. Robot Beach's Zach Yeloff last night sends a bomb to straight center. It's a 434-foot home run. It helped lead the A's to a win over the Kansas City Royals. Geloff getting hot now. He's homeward in consecutive games, now has seven on the season. Tensions are on the rise once again between Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Biden White House. In a video posted online, Netanyahu accused the U.S. of withholding weapons and ammunitions to Israel and slowing the progress in the war against Hamas. The White House says it doesn't know what he's talking about, and now a high-level meeting is on hold. NBC's Alice Barr shows us how this could impact the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. In a new diplomatic divide, a meeting expected today between high-level U.S. and Israeli officials postponed. U.S. officials saying they will not reward Israel with the Washington sit-down now after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu leveled this accusation. It's inconceivable that in the past few months, the administration has been withholding weapons and ammunition to Israel. Israel, America's closest ally. Secretary of State Antony Blinken adamant that the U.S. publicly paused just one shipment of 2,000 pound bombs that is still under review. Because of our concerns about their use in a densely populated area, like Rafa, that remains other, uh, under review. Um, but everything else is moving as it normally would move. The White House saying billions of dollars of arms have continued to flow into Israel, calling the suggestion of any other delays. President Biden has warned that certain weapons shipments could be halted if Israel launched a full-scale assault in Rafah. 
But despite intensifying violence in the southern Gaza city, where more than a million Palestinians had been sheltering, the White House maintains Israel has not crossed a red line. And now growing concerns over a new front line. As Israel signals, it may soon launch a fresh offensive along its border with Lebanon, where Israeli forces and Iranian-backed Hezbollah militants have stepped up strikes against each other as the U.S. works to avoid all-out war. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Prime Minister Netanyahu is set to address a joint session of Congress next month, despite the pushback from several Democrat lawmakers who support the anti-Israel protests that are continuing. Today, the President and the First Lady will leave Rehoboth Beach after their brief stay on our coast. According to the White House, they'll be leaving for the Dover Air Force Base this evening, and from there, they will travel to Hagerstown, Maryland, and that's where they'll then leave for Camp David. We're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News Today. Coming up, starting summer hours, we'll tell you what days and times you can visit the Fort Miles Museum. And protecting your pets, we're going to show you how to spot heat stroke in your furry friends. And bird strikes increase, it's Boeing's concern, the new warning issued to airlines, all that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Did you know enjoying social activities can slow down age-related issues? The key benefits are stimulation of the mind, improvement in motor skills, building interpersonal relationships, increasing confidence and independence. Home Well Care Services LEAP program provides interactive activities that clients can enjoy twice a month at our Georgetown and Smyrna locations. Incorporating LEAP in your loved one's routine can create a sense of fulfillment and motivation. To learn more information about Home Well Care Services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. It all started with a food truck, a truck and a dream of bringing excellent street food to our community. That dream became Tiki Jack's as we know it today. From mouth-watering street tacos to our signature sandwiches and street-inspired entrees, Tiki Jack's is the ultimate destination for comfort food by the shore. Whether you're dining out with family or looking for a fun night out with friends, stop by Tiki Jack's of Rehoboth Beach today for all your street eats and brews. Come to Out in the Light, where your treasure awaits. Nestled in the heart of America's coolest small town, Out and Delights is not just your average gift shop, but where you can go for extraordinary finds, carrying items such as nautical decor, vintage vinyl, jewelry, holiday decor year-round, souvenirs, and toys. Don't forget to add a little fun to your shopping by checking out Zoltar or our Penny Crushing Machine. Find what delights you at Out and Delights on Main Street in Berlin, across the street from the Mermaid Museum. The big issues, abortion, civil rights, health care. When Trump policies were attacking our rights, County Executive Matt Meyer fought back. Now Trump is promising a national abortion ban and huge cuts to health care coverage. Matt's health care plan will reduce costs, not coverage, by increasing competition on the exchange. And Matt's plan will protect women's access to abortion, always. So call Matt Meyer. Tell him you support his plans to protect Delaware values. The last sunrise of the spring season is a nice one. Boardwalk Plaza cam, sun shining through. Oh, we've got some clouds out there. We also have a little bit of fog, quarter mile visibility around the Ocean City area. I've been looking at our cameras, haven't seen much there, but could be a little thick there and then patchy fog elsewhere. So that'll burn off in a couple of hours. Otherwise, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s to right around 70 degrees. Winds are calm and we've got some mid to high level clouds and some patchy fog. Otherwise, we're looking at a mostly sunny day. Golf forecast, make sure you have plenty of water with you today as it's a beautiful day for golf. Just going to be a little warm out there and a little humid, 88, but feeling like 90 with the humidity. Toasty Bob, all right, thanks for that. Happening now, if you plan to visit Fenwick Island Town Hall, make note of this. The Town Hall parking lot is getting a facelift. The lot will be closed now until Friday for paving and striping work. Also today, it's the last day to vie for a seat on South Bethany's town council. The council has one vacant seat. It's open to finish the current term. It ends in May of next year. The town is accepting letters of interest for this open position, and they need to be turned in by noon today. All requirements must be met, including being at least 21 years old. So if you live in South Bethany and you're interested, you can contact the town office for more information. Newly obtained documents show that Boeing knows a bird strike can cause its 737 MAX airplanes to fill with smoke. 
The manufacturer sent warnings to Southwest and American Airlines about this issue back in February. Boeing says it's already had two reports of this happening. The FAA is aware of the problem. They say they've been working with Boeing on it, but it's just another safety blow to the embattled 737 MAX jet airplane. A cyber incident is now impacting 15,000 auto dealers in the U.S. and Canada. The data provider CDK Global is investigating this. As a precaution, most of their systems have been shut down. The software is used for things like deal negotiations and service records, so dealers are more concerned because summer is a very busy car buying season. Still ahead this morning, we're talking protecting your pets. What steps to take if your pet becomes a victim of heat stroke? Seeing some patchy fog in Laurel right now, so uh, just take a little slower. It should burn off here in a couple of hours. A warm start to summer today, officially arriving later this afternoon, then hot to really hot this weekend. I'll track the heat on future casts coming up next. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. Help the cancer support community of Delaware with the Wings of Hope Butterfly release Saturday, June 22nd at the Milton Memorial Park starting at 9 a.m. Show your support for those who have been touched by cancer. Enjoy this family-friendly and rain or shine event with lots of kids' activities full of inspiration and ends with the release of hundreds of butterflies. Pre-purchase your live butterflies now for release. For more information, visit cancersupportdelaware.org. It's time to take your outdoor area to the next level. Hi, this is Mark Fry, Shager and Home Comfort Products. Stay offline and shop local. We specialize in providing homeowners with the best outdoor living products. Stop in our showroom in Rehoboth and interact with our state-of-the-art outdoor kitchen displays, including grills, pizza ovens, and outdoor refrigeration. Need a freestanding grill or fire table for your existing patio or deck? We have them too. Come see us in the Midway Shopping Center, Rehoboth Beach, or give us a call at 302-644-7700. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. When it comes to protecting your home, don't take chances with just anyone. Trust the experts at Spicer Brothers. Join thousands of satisfied customers who've chosen us for our exceptional service, quality installation, and unbeatable warranties. Whether you need a roof replacement or just want to upgrade the look of your home, we've got you covered. And right now, save up to 20% on your new roof. Plus, enjoy no interest and no payments until 2026. For a roof that's done right, trust Spicer Brothers day and night. Because you deserve the best. Time is 618 and you are looking live at Ocean View. This is near the Indian River Inlet Bridge. What a great looking morning we have so far. Just a great shot there. And later today, Bob, summer officially will be here. Yeah, two seasons in one day, and uh, spring's going out on a beautiful note. We're looking at some of the clouds out there, a little bit of patchy fog in some areas, but all in all, uh, looking pretty good as we segue from spring to summer. It's the summer solstice today, summer officially arriving at 4.50 this afternoon. It is the longest day of the year, and it's 14 hours, 52 minutes, and 42 seconds as the sun came up at 5.37 this morning, got light around 5 a.m and then it goes down at 828 and gets dark around nine. So that's a good chunk of a 24 hour time period that it's light out there. But days start to get shorter after today. Five day temperature trend 88 today and then it's into the heat tomorrow. Friday 92 95 Saturday. I think Sunday is the worst day for the heat today. You probably want to find a cool place 96 and then back to 92 on Monday. But out the door this morning it is kind of coolish lower 60s from Salisbury to Ocean Pines and 
and into Del Mar, but along the coast, a little warmer for you, upper 60s to right around 70 in Indian River Inlet as the winds are pretty light right now. And uh, we are seeing a little bit of fog out there, perhaps in Ocean City in that area, also four miles in Salisbury and in Laura, we saw some patchy fog as well, so watch out for that. Otherwise, we're just seeing some high clouds floating through as high pressure is building in at the surface and aloft, keeping us very warm, but really hot air is just off to our west and that will be building in with time as this ridge extends down into Florida and all the way up over the top of us as we go into the weekend. Future cast this morning, we go from the 60s and 70s into the upper 70s by 9 o'clock, mid 80s by the noon hour with 70s along the coast into the mid to upper 80s by 3 p.m. away from the coast, but about 78 in Bethany Beach and then it's very warm into this evening and a slow decline in those temperatures into Friday morning and still tolerable temperatures Friday morning in the 60s. But then as we move through your Friday, it's a quick warm up through the 80s. And I think many of us into the lower 90s as we go into Friday afternoon and then it gets muggy and it stays warm through the overnight Friday night into Saturday morning. So only into the low 70s and then we shoot up into the low to mid 90s as we head into Saturday. Even some 80s showing up along the beaches, upper 70s elsewhere and Sunday will be very warm as well. Feels like temperatures today, upper 80s and lower 90s, inland 70s and 80s at the beaches. And we start to crank up that thermostat Friday. Feels like temperatures, lower 90s and then mid to upper 90s, maybe even feeling like 100 in some places Saturday. And I think a lot of places feeling like 100 to maybe 102, uh, somewhere in that range into Sunday. So that's a day you really have to be extra cautious in the heat. Check on the elderly, make sure they're okay and make sure you stay hydrated with water because it will be feeling like 90s along the coast as well. Very muggy as we go through the weekend and into the weekend. Humid to very humid. Looks like we do start to dry it out a little bit as we go into next week. Paul Davis seven day forecast shows us temperatures in the upper 80s today to 92 Friday, mid 90s for the weekend. Still low 90s on Monday. Maybe a rain chance. My goodness, we need the rain. Let's hope that happens. Back to 89 Tuesday and then back to 93 on Wednesday. Day, partly cloudy skies. Bob, thank you so much. Heat stroke symptoms in humans are some we all know high body temperature, headaches, nausea, but we, of course, can communicate those problems. Our pets cannot. Symptoms that your pet is having a heat stroke are excessive drooling and panting more than usual. Others include restlessness and collapsing. Quick fixes the Brandywine Wine Valley SPCA suggests are moving your dogs into the shade and then wetting their paws and their body with cool water. They also say you can offer small amounts of cool water to them. And they say call your vet if you notice any of these signs. With super high temperatures this week, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources has a new fishing forecast. So get this. It's an awareness campaign aimed at to reduce striped bass mortality during the summer fishing season. A color-coded recommendation system will advise of fishing conditions. You can see the guide on your screen right now. The agency says this will allow anglers to plan their striped bass fishing trips up to seven days in advance. Still more to come this morning. Starting summer hours, we're telling you when the Fort Miles Museum will be open to visitors during the summer hours now until September. Don't go anywhere. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Burland Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Burland Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. Feel like you need to get away? Fisherman's Wharf Adventures has a getaway for you. Hop aboard our fleet of boats for fishing, dolphin cruises, and whale watching or just lounging with friends and enjoying a cocktail. We offer full and half-day fishing, evening cruises, events, and even private charters, too. Enjoy the adventure and take in the magic of the sea. With three generations in the business, we guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. What are you waiting for? Check us out online and call to book your trip today. Middays with April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through my workday. She plays my favorite songs. She helped me find my furry friend. She's always making me smile. Listening to April is the best way to get through my work day. She makes me feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 1039 and 1063 each day from 10 to 3.
Save the date, Friday, June 21st. Watch the 68th Annual DFRC Blue Gold All-Star Football Game on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. See Delaware's best high school athletes compete while supporting DFRC's mission to enrich lives of Delawareans with intellectual disabilities. The game kicks off at 7. The DFRC Blue Gold Game, live from the University of Delaware, Friday, June 21st, only on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. Juneteenth is over for now, but Delmarva not done celebrating. The historic Lewis Farmers Market will have their third annual Juneteenth celebration this Saturday, June 22nd. It's a free event that has live music, dancers, spoken word, food trucks. It's all happening at George H.P. Smith Park from 1 to 6. Shopping hours for the market, those will remain 8 a.m. until noon for the market before the celebration. The best place to park for this event is at Lewis Elementary School main parking lot. Now it's week two of a summer concert series over at the Lewis Ferry Grounds. At this music festival layout, guests enjoy vendors, food trucks, and even some cocktails. You can also upgrade to a VIP lounge. Coast TV's Mallory Metzner was the MC introducing bands Wednesday. Tickets are still on sale for the rest of the season. We have that link on our website. And happening now, Fort Miles Summer Hours now in effect. The museum will be open Tuesdays to Saturdays. Those times are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Sunday hours... They're 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. These hours are through September 9th. Museum, I've been there. It's just a great place. You can get a look at uh, military history and learn about some of our hometown heroes. We bring back First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahey. Plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures later today, both along the ocean coast and the bay. Beautiful day as we segue from spring to summer. Yeah, we're uh, killing two birds with one stone, kind of. Two seasons in one day. Watch out for areas of fog this morning. Chincoteague, I think you're up near 80 degrees as we go through the afternoon with lots of sunshine. Maybe a little cooler in Assateague with upper 70. Waves only one to two feet. So uh, if you like surfing or boogie boarding, not looking great for that. Fenwick Island in Ocean City. Maybe some fog and clouds this morning. Otherwise, looking at sunshine. Upper 70s, lower 80s in Fenwick Island. Next three days in Cambridge, you start to warm up. Upper 80s today, lower 90s tomorrow, mid 90s on. On Saturday and a little cooler into Chrisfield, mid to upper 80s, but we're all going to be feeling the heat into the first weekend of summer. It will be a sizzler. More on that coming up in a few minutes. Bob, thank you so much. Also still ahead on Coast TV News today, awaiting an abortion ruling. That's what the White House in Idaho are doing now before the Supreme Court goes on break for the summer. Case sent back to Worcester County. The developments this week in the two-year-old case involving a deadly hit and run in Ocean Pines. And Texas flooding turmoil. How much rain is expected in the area due to tropical storm Alberto. Coast TV News Today will be right back. When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000-square-foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. Summer means Beat the Peak season for Delaware Electric Cooperative members. Our co-op issues Beat the Peak alerts when the cost of energy is highest. During peak alerts, we ask members to voluntarily conserve energy, lowering our overall cost for power. Download our Beat the Peak app to receive alerts when it's time to save. If you own a programmable thermostat or electric vehicle, you can also receive billing credits when you conserve. DEC's rates are the lowest in the region. Beat the Peak and help us keep energy costs affordable. Come to Out in the Light, where your treasure awaits. Nestled in the heart of America's coolest small town, Out in Delights is not just your average gift shop, but where you can go for extraordinary finds, carrying items such as nautical decor, vintage vinyl, jewelry, holiday decor year-round, souvenirs, and toys. Don't forget to add a little fun to your shopping by checking out Zoltar or our penny crushing machine. Find what delights you at Out in Delights on Main Street in Berlin, across the street from the Mermaid Museum.
on Coast TV News. Summer officially arrives later today with very warm conditions. It turns hot Friday and especially into the weekend with excessive heat expected. I'll track the heat on future cast coming up next. Lift off at Wallops. How Delaware College students have a role in this rocket mission that blasted off just about an hour ago. Crosswalk concerns in Fenwick Island. We're looking at how one issue with DelDot is impacting the Sussex County town. Malloy decision, what a Maryland Supreme Court ruling means in the case involving a deadly hit and run two years ago in Ocean Pines. This is Coast TV News Today. It's June 20th, 24. 2024, I should say. Yes. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pence. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, time is 6.30. We got the final hours of yep. spring. But boy, I think at some point today, even before summer kicks in, it's going to feel a lot like summer. It is hot and it's only getting hotter outside. So grab your sunscreen and your water and leave your pets indoors. We're going to bring in First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahi. Now, Bob, we've been kind of counting down the hours until summer. We have been and uh, we're coming up on about 10 hours and change until the start of summer and spring ending in fine fashion. We're looking at temperatures kind of cool out there in Salisbury, Del Mar, Ocean Pines, lower 60s for you, mid 60s farther north and close to 70 around Ocean City and Indian River Inlet right now. Winds are calm or very, very light. We are seeing some fog showing up, especially across inland areas of Delaware and Maryland. Three miles in fog in Ocean City. Haven't seen any on the cameras, but maybe outlying areas. Watch out for that. Otherwise, besides the fog, which will burn off shortly, we're looking at, well, some high clouds building in and it's high pressure uh, that will keep us very warm today as Futurecast has us warming through the 60s into the 70s. And 1130, we're looking at temperatures into the mid 80s, upper 80s by this afternoon as summer officially arrives at 450 and feeling like it this evening, 70s along the coast, 80s inland areas. Don't need the umbrella today unless you're shielding yourself from the sun dress for summer stay hydrated with water that's very important and preferably a cold beverage non-alcoholic make sure you have the stronger sunscreen probably 30 plus and the sunglasses you'll definitely need those today as well all right bob thank you now not the case in other parts of our country tropical storm alberto the first named storm of the season churning in the gulf of mexico it's already causing problems along the texas shore Heavy rains and high tides and storm surges are all bringing coastal flooding to the Galveston area. That storm packing winds of up to 40 miles an hour and submerging roads like you see there and properties as it approaches. The area could be inundated with up to 10 inches of rain before Alberta moves out. Okay, about one hour ago, this was the scene at the NASA facility on Wallops Island. We're going to take a look at some of that video. There we go, Paige. Yeah, that launched pretty much right on time. The launch window opened around 530. So right after that, oh, there he is. <laughs> the rocket lifted off. Yeah, I've watched many of these type yeah. of launch over the years, Paige, and normally their countdown holds their delays, yeah. as we saw here. Not the case this morning. What we saw was the Terrier improved Orion sounding rocket. The launch has several experiments. University of Delaware students have one of those experiments. That one deals with measuring the density and the temperature of electrons in space. Very impressive. Yeah. We're going to move on now. This week we learned of a development from the Maryland Supreme Court in the case of Tyler Mayu. That's the man involved in the deadly Ocean Pines hit and run two years ago that killed 14-year-old Gavin Knupp. The Maryland Supreme Court has rejected a petition by Mayu what this means is this, it upholds the appellate court's order of returning the trial to Worcester County Circuit Court. That's key because the case was originally dismissed in that court. So when the judge stated it should have been filed in a different court, district court. New legislation would permanently abolish the death penalty in Delaware. House Bill 70 moves to the Senate for consideration. House Bill 70 would instruct that any adult convicted of first degree murder to instead be sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of something like probation, parole, or any other sentence reduction. Advocates say since 1973, at least 197 people were wrongfully convicted and sentenced to death in the U.S. and have since been exonerated. Today, Fenwick Island will be reviewing the town budget. Two of the key budget items for review are rentals and dredging. The town's budget and finance committee working on an updated draft of the fiscal year 2025 budget. They're specifically looking to see how dredging could impact the budget as well as rental tax rates. The committee will also consider a fee schedule recommendation to town council. So yeah, a different situation in Fenwick Island. It's not in the budget, but we're still tracking it. It involves crosswalks at a dangerous intersection. It was back in April. 
that we first reported the town standstill with Del Dot over a crosswalk to improve pedestrian safety. The town wants to move a crosswalk away from an intersection where many cars make illegal U-turns. And according to the town, these U-turns, they're making walking dangerous for people. The dispute with Del Dot is over who's going to pay for it. Both parties think the other one should. Cost to move the crosswalk is over $70,000. Many drivers still not hitting the brakes on a safety change in Milton for about a week now. A new four-way stop has been in effect right there at the Harbison Road, Shingle Point Road, and Chestnut Street intersection in Milton. According to Del Dot, this change was necessary for better safety and visibility, but drivers are questioning if it's a solution at all. And Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber spoke with people in that area to see how they feel about this change now that it is in effect. This intersection in Milton used to look like this, but now it looks like this. In order to increase safety and visibility, Delta has created an always stop here at the intersection of Harbison Road, Shingle Point Road, and Chestnut Street. Lucinda Cashmanian, who lives right next to the intersection, says not all drivers are abiding by the stop signs, like this driver. I think initially you have to be very careful. People are getting used to it. I'm certainly going to stop and look every way even if I am the first one there just to make sure no one is going to go through it but you know hopefully there's so many of them now that I think people are getting used to four-way stops. Another problem Cashmanian says is that stop signs are causing more traffic but you know it's a small price to pay for safety. Craig Kern who rides his bike around Milton every day says this change was needed as more people move to and visit the area. Uh, a lot of out-of-towners that come in they don't realize that the speed limit is 35 or 25 and they're constantly doing 40, 50 miles an hour, which is really crazy. Got a lot of bikers, a lot of pedestrian walkers, so it's, it's good to slow them down. Deldot says the purpose of this project is to increase visibility because depending on which way you are driving, certain turns have a blind spot. Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. Deldot says since 2020, there have been nine accidents right there and this project is just a temporary solution to see exactly what will work. The U.S. Supreme Court could dish out a decision on a historic case on abortion soon. This one focuses on whether federal law to provide emergency care can override state abortion bans. The Biden administration sued the state of Idaho, which allows exceptions to its abortion ban when the life of the mother is at risk. The administration argued that federal law requires the state to allow an abortion if it's needed to stabilize a patient, even when the mother's condition isn't life-threatening. Idaho argued the Biden administration is trying to retrofit a federal law to create a nationwide abortion mandate in hospital emergency rooms. As the Pentagon faces military recruitment challenges, Congress is considering legislation that would change the selective services system. One of the proposals they're looking at it would automatically register men for the draft when they turn 18. Another would require women to register for the draft. This military has not activated the draft in more than 50 years. The U.S. has reattached a pier designed to help deliver aid to Gaza. June 14th, the U.S. temporarily dismantled the pier because of anticipated bad weather and rough seas there. Two officials say that pier has since been re-anchored. Pentagon saying the pier has allowed the delivery of 3,500 metric tons of aid. Still a lot more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up the first day of summer to it's hot everywhere, especially the ground. We're going to show you how to spot heat stroke in your furry friends. And the Delaware High School football stars will be out tomorrow night. The Henlopen Conference players you will be able to see. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. Help the cancer support community of Delaware with the Wings of Hope Butterfly release Saturday, June 22nd at the Milton Memorial Park starting at 9 a.m. Show your support for those who have been touched by cancer. Enjoy this family-friendly and rain or shine event with lots of kids activities full of inspiration and ends with the release of hundreds of butterflies. Pre-purchase your live butterflies now for release. For more information, visit cancersupportdelaware.org. Join us for the June 10 event going on right now at Preston Ford. When the tent goes up, the prices come down. We have a wide selection of over 900 Ford models available for immediate purchase. During this sales event, you can save over $8,000 off the MSRP of select 2024 Ford F-150s. Shop with us online at PrestonFord.com and we'll deliver it to your driveway today. Find your dream car during the June 10 event at Preston Ford. Remember, cars cost less in Preston. 
Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blenders shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. Positive focused. Supportive and goal oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network coach who makes a difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. Just about 641 on this last morning of spring and seeing some clouds right now over Delaware Bay, 67 in Lewis, and we're seeing fog elsewhere too. limited visibility around Ocean City and Salisbury. So watch out for that. That will burn off here in the next couple of hours. Temperature wise, mainly in the 60s, some lower 60s inland, upper 60s at the coast, 70 in Ocean City, Bethany Beach at 67 and the winds are light and we have some fog and we have some mid to high level clouds besides that. We've got a Bermuda high offshore, and that will be pumping in the warmth, especially as we go late week into the weekend. Your golf forecast for today looking excellent, but make sure you have the water on the golf cart. Quite warm and humid and 88 degrees. Call the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. I updated the forecast there. It's sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxton, and Federico. Thank you, Bob. People in Rehoboth Beach, you could start paying more. Rehoboth Beach holding a meeting that could approve an increase in the real estate tax. This would bump the tax up 1.75%. It would create a $10 million budget for capital improvements. One of the improvements would include the resurfacing of the first two blocks of Rehoboth Ave. This meeting will take place tomorrow. Paige, I have a Rehoboth Beach story for you. Sure. Zach Geloff, who's from there, Major League Baseball player, is starting to heat up at the plate for the A's. This is last night. Big fly for the former Cape Henlope and Viking. 434-foot home run and helped lead the A's to a win over Kansas City. Geloff has homered in consecutive games, now a seven on the season. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning, everybody. Last week's episode of Into the Trenches, the Wildcat Legacy, we watch as a team of young men give everything they had in hopes of winning a district title and earning a playoff spot. Although they fell short of accomplishing that goal, the Del Mar journey does not stop there. Here's a preview of what you can expect to see in the season finale tonight of Into the Trenches, the Wildcat Legacy. On the next Into the Trenches. Do you know why we're here for this uh, preview? Do you ever think he would stop coaching at any point? Well, sometimes I think, all right, this will be it. At, at times, it, it seemed like ball never stopped. I don't know how we'll look back on the 23 team. These are things that will stick with me the rest of my life. Into the Trenches, the Wildcat Legacy, Thursday at 7.30 on Delmarva Sports Network. And the Blue Gold Football All-Star Game is here. And it all goes down at the University of Delaware this Friday. Team Blue highlighted by Brian Aline, Gatorade Player of the Year and State Champion. And Cape Henlope and standout Lexington Westcott, big time player coming out of Team Gold. And the full game will be on DSN tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Have a great day, everybody. Here's what's coming up today at 4 on Coast Life. It's the first day of summer, so you're probably in need of some summer beach reads. Good thing we know the perfect place to get them. And every Thursday we spill the tea. Today we have some family drama that's piping hot. All that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. We're seeing some clouds right now in Ocean View and maybe some fog where you live this morning. Watch out for that as we transition from Spring to summer, a very warm start to summer today, then hot weather for Friday, then really hot for the weekend. I'll track the heat coming up in two minutes. I potentially be 
dead is the reality of it. I mean, fentanyl kills a lot of people. I heard about addiction medical facility from another company and I came in here, you know, no judgment, no stigma. It was, you need help, let's help you. What do you need? They have intensive outpatient. Hey, it's a little more intense. You can see your counselor a little more. They've shown nothing but love. Now here I am. I started a grooming business. If I didn't start recovery, it, it could have looked very different for me. And you just have to remember there's always hope and I feel like addiction medical facility is the place for that. See the beauty of Delmarva from our bird's eye view soaring over the shore mondays on coast tv news at six sponsored by morse roofing and siding life is all about choices and on delmarva we know you have a lot of country music stations to choose from well at coast country 103.9 and 106.3 we believe we do more of what you want and playing stuff that we love too like morgan wallen morgan wallen laney wilson laney wilson plus all the good stuff too reba brooks and dunn garth and all the classics in between so we're issuing the the Coast Country Challenge. Tune us in for a week and we're sure when you'll accept the challenge, you'll, you'll feel Delmarva Del proud too. too. Taking you back to the decade of neon colors, big hair, and of course, great music. Join me, April, every morning at 8 a.m. on 107.1 The Duck as I play some of your favorite tunes from back in the day. It's April's Awesome 80s, sponsored by Easton Auto Care and Denton Auto Care and Tire. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Coastal Comfort knows there's no place like home. It's where we can be totally comfortable. Totally comfortable being ourselves, making a mess, making improvements, making strides, making memories with those we love, totally. Big or small, at the beach or on the farm, all along the Eastern Shore. It's home and Coastal Comfort is always here to keep you totally comfortable. Coastal Comfort, a Carrier Factory authorized dealer serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. Time is now 646. We are going to take a live look at Rehoboth Beach. A little cloudy there, Bob, but mm -hmm. uh, we were told too that maybe some people out on the beach today. I don't know if I can see any right now, but they were there. I see maybe a few, or maybe that's a jetty. I can I never tell. I can't tell. I need my binoculars. Me too. <laughs> it looks nice out. Yeah, it does look nice. A little hazy on the beach, yeah. some clouds, so nice end to spring page. And, of course, summer uh, does officially arrive as we go into this afternoon. As we're looking at the summer solstice, officially at 4.50 this afternoon, marking the longest day of the year, exactly 14 hours, 52 minutes, and 42 seconds. The sun was up this morning at at uh, 5.37 and it sets at 8.28, so that's an awfully long day. And after today, the days do start to get shorter, but the temperatures will be going up with time. Here's our five-day temperature trend, 88 today. Average high is 85, will be well above that average in the next several days. 92 Friday, 95 Saturday, it's gonna be a scorching hot weekend. Maybe have those plans indoors for sure. 96 on Sunday and then Monday, we're back to 92 degrees as temperatures now aren't too bad. We're in the 60s, 70 in Ocean City, however, 65 in Georgetown and Seaford right now. You're at 65 degrees as the winds are pretty light, but the tendency is out of the south. And we do have a little bit of fog out there. You can see the lower visibility from Salisbury to Ocean City. So watch out for that patchy fog for the next couple of hours. And I think there is some back through Sussex County as well. Had some on the Laurel camera a little earlier on. Besides that, we're looking at mostly clear skies, just some high clouds and once the fog burns off it's a beautiful day we have high pressure centered over bermuda it's called the bermuda high and around that high we start to pump in the heat and we've got a lot of heat back to our west and dry conditions and that heat is headed our way friday into the weekend deflecting any kind of storminess around that big ridge of high pressure here's future cast this morning in the 60s and 70s upper 70s mid-morning and then we're into the mid 80s by the noon hour so as we transition from spring to summer it's going to be feeling like like it mid to upper 80s later on inland cooler 70s at the beaches and once summer starts it's going to feel like it temperature slowly falling back from the 70s into the 60s it looks like a comfortable morning friday morning with mid 60s and then we're quickly skyrocketing through the 80s as we go through the morning into the afternoon and we're going to start to see low 90s showing up across the area into friday afternoon with 70s and 80s at the beaches and then as we go into saturday morning it is going to be milder and muggy 
with temperatures in the lower 70s and then we're shooting into the low to maybe mid 90s away from the coast on Saturday, maybe a little cooler at the beaches and then on Sunday it's going to be even hotter. Feels like temperatures as we go through today, 80s and low 90s and then we go into Friday and we're solidly in the low 90s with those feels like temperatures. You want to stay hydrated with water, feeling like upper 90s close to 100 on Saturday. Then I think Sunday is the worst day. We have an excessive heat watch in effect for the state where we'll be seeing triple digit heat indices inland areas and even along the coast will be feeling like 90. So pretty rough there and our muggy meter. It's muggy through the next several days and then very humid into the weekend into early next week. And then by Tuesday, looks like we do drop back to the comfortable level. Paul Davis, seven day forecast 88 today as summer kicks off later today, 92 Friday and then the real hot stuff for the weekend. Mid 90s both days and feeling like at least 100. Make sure you check on your elderly neighbors. Make sure they have a cool place to be or that they do have availability to cooler air. 92 on Monday, maybe some showers and storms. It does cool off a little bit Tuesday and then back to 93 on Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies. Thank you, Bob. Talking about that heat, heat stroke symptoms in humans are, we all know, high body temperature, headaches, nausea, those are some of the symptoms. We can communicate those problems. Our furry friends, however, cannot. Symptoms that your pet is having a heat stroke are excessive drooling and panting. Others include restlessness and collapsing. Quick fixes, the Brandywine Valley SPCA suggests, are moving dogs into the shade and wetting their paws and body with cool water. The SPCA says you can also offer small amounts of cool water to them. They also say to call the vet if you notice any of these signs. All right, it's now 651. We're going to check in now with our Coastal Pet of the Day. Today's Coastal Pet of the Day. There he is. There he is, Benny <laughs> Page. He's, yep. he's ready for summer, as you can see on your screen. He's packed with all the key essentials here. We got a beach ball, beach chair, sunglasses. Only a few more hours to go, Benny. And he was submitted to us by Tammy and Seifer. What are you looking at there? I think he's wearing a bathing suit. I'm trying to, like, get real close. <laughs> I think yeah, you're right. It's like swim trunks The blue, on. the blue white thing. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Where did you find blue swim trunks for a dog? I keep sending us photos of all your pets. Tell us what makes them so special. Yeah, it's a Ziggy might use a pair. Yeah, he need a bigger pair, though. Scan that QR code. Submit your friends to us. And then watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. We are seeing some areas of fog out there this morning. You can see that on our Laurel cam right now, and that will burn off the next couple of hours as we will see a warm end to spring and a hot start to summer tomorrow and sizzling hot as we go into this upcoming weekend. Rain chances, not many, maybe some on Monday. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up. Struggling to find lasting relief for chronic pain? Acupuncture is a holistic approach to treating chronic pain that provides lasting results. I have been struggling with chronic back pain for years and felt like nothing would be able to help. Then I discovered acupuncture and IV therapy. Now I'm pain free and I get to live my life happily with my kids. At Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, we provide customized treatment plans that can relieve your symptoms. For more information, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Save the date, Friday, June 21st. Watch the 68th Annual DFRC Blue Gold All-Star Football Game on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. See Delaware's best high school athletes compete while supporting DFRC's mission to enrich lives of Delawareans with intellectual disabilities. The game kicks off at 7. The DFRC Blue Gold Game, live from the University of Delaware, Friday, June 21st, only on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. What I like about working at Avery Hall is helping our clients, not just with their insurance needs, but also being a resource to them, tailor their insurance needs to protect their business, help them grow. The greatest feedback I've gotten from my clients is transparency and integrity. To work for a company so involved in the community obviously means a lot. We've been around for 95 years, and the original Avery Hall won us very involved, and that's a culture we just stick to. I'm Shane Ray. I'm an account executive here at Avery Hall Insurance. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-CALL-FUR. 
www.fitchfur.com. Life is all about choices. And on Delmarva, we know you have a lot of country music stations to choose from. Well, at Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3, we believe we do more of what you want. And playing stuff that we love, too, like Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen. Laney Wilson. Laney Wilson. Plus all the good stuff, too. Reba, Brooks and Dunn, Garth, and all the classics in between. So we're issuing the Coast Country Challenge. Tune us in for a week, and we're sure when you'll accept the challenge, you'll, you'll feel Delmarva Del proud, proud, too. too. It's now 6.54. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. This week we learned of a development from the Maryland Supreme Court in the case of Tyler Mayo. It's the man involved in the deadly Ocean Pines hit and run that killed 14-year-old Gavin Knupp. The Maryland Supreme Court has rejected his petition. It upholds the appellate court's order of returning the trial to Worcester County Circuit Court. The case was originally dismissed in that court when the judge said that should have been filed in district court. U.S. has reattached a pier designed to help deliver aid to Gaza. On June 14th, the U.S. temporarily dismantled it because of anticipated bad weather and rough seas. Two officials say the pier has since been re-anchored. The Pentagon says the pier has allowed the delivery of 3,500 metric tons of aid. Newly obtained documents show Boeing knows that a bird strike can cause the 737 MAX airplanes to fill with smoke. The manufacturer sent some warnings to Southwest and American Airlines about this issue in February. Boeing says it has two reports of this happening. The FAA is aware of the problem. They are working with Boeing on it, but it's another safety blow to the embattled 737 MAX jet airplane. All right, Southwest Airlines, they're celebrating a birthday, and they have a special gift for thrifty travelers. Yeah, Carrier has $53 Ooh. airfares in honor of its 53rd year in operation. The one-way tickets, they include trips to Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and some international locations. However, the $53 tickets, they have to be scheduled between Mondays and Thursdays or Saturdays between August 6th. In December 18th. Might, not, might need to look into that one, Paige. Not bad. I was just on it during the commercial break, trying to check it out, see where we could fly. Uh, not too bad. All right, we're coming up on 6.57 now. It's time for a quick look at your forecast before you head out the door. Bob, first day of summer. Yes, we've been counting it down. It's just hours away. It is, it is just hours, hours away. away. And I tell you what, we can't ask for a nicer segue from spring to summer, guys, as uh, summer officially arrives at 4.50 this afternoon. Watch out for areas of fog this morning. Some of that could be a little dense. Otherwise, that birds off to more sunshine and we're warming up into the 80s today as once again, summer officially arrives around 450 and right around 86 or 87 degrees at that time. I'm going with 88 for the high, a little cooler at the beaches. Paul Davis 10 day forecast. The heat wave kicks in Friday, 92, even hotter for the weekend. In fact, the hottest period with mid 90s heat indices at least 100, especially on Sunday, maybe some storms on Monday, 92. Get a little break from the heat Tuesday, but then it's back into the 90s Wednesday and Thursday. All in all, just a very hot pattern and really only one day of a, a chance of rain. Yeah, thanks, Bob, so much. All right, well, thank you all for joining us here on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. Don't forget, we'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11, so stick around. And for even more news and coverage, you can count on. Download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Thursday morning, everybody.